Ever returned home from a landscape photography shoot, loaded the files onto the computer and been, well, a little bit disappointed with the skies in your frame? Perhaps you've misjudged the exposure, or maybe they just lack that special something that adds value to the picture. Fear not, there are a few things you can do to not only save the shot, but also enhance it, thus making it more sellable to stock sites or other clients. What's more, the feature that can make the difference may be a tool you've never stumbled across before. Affinity Photo's humble gradient tool can not only be used to darken skies, bringing a mean and moody feel to the frame, but it can even be used in a more creative manner to add atmospheric haze to a photo too. Let's see how it's done. With your image open in Affinity Photo, our first job is to add a fill layer. By doing this, rather than adding a gradient to the background layer, we are working in a non-destructive manner. Meaning if you want to start over during the technique, you can simply remove and throw away the fill layer and start again. So head to the top of the interface and find the layer menu. Scroll down and select new fill layer. The new fill layer will automatically appear in the layers panel and the screen will be white. What's more, the gradient tool, which is located on the toolbar at the left hand side of the interface will be automatically selected. What we're going to do is head to the top of our frame, click and hold and drag the gradient tool down. Now by default, there'll be white at the top and black at the bottom of your frame. We want the reverse. So head to the top of the interface and find the reverse gradient option. Click on it and it will reverse the gradient. We're gonna change the gradient midpoint to better reflect the sky in our image. To do this, click off the fill layer so you can see where the sky starts and finishes in your frame. So I need to move my midpoint a bit further down like this. Just check that again and that appears to be right. By taking the time to do this, you'll save time removing pixels later on in the technique. Head back to the layers panel and change the blending mode from normal to either overlay or soft light. Overlay gives the heavier, moody effect, so this is what I'm going to go with. We need to remove and paint out the pixels in the bottom area of the frame. So we're going to do this by adding a layer mask. Head down to the bottom of the layers panel and click on the layer mask option, which is identified by a circle within a square icon. Make sure the mask is selected, then head over to the toolbox and select the paintbrush tool. The keyboard shortcut for this is B. With the brush set to black and a hardness of 0%, you can start to paint out the pixels you don't want in the frame. Remember, you can change the size of the brush using the square bracket keys to make life easier. Take care when approaching your sky and your horizon. You might want to change the size of the brush to make sure you get the right effect. If needs be, you can press Ctrl and plus to zoom in and get a better view. So let's take a moment to see how far we've come. Using just a fill layer and the gradient tool, we've gone from a nice image with a slightly lackluster sky to something with far more impact. You don't have to stop there though. Once you're ready, you can add even more adjustments using the adjustment layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. So I'm gonna add a bit of brightness and contrast. And then I'm gonna add another adjustment layer select HSL and just boost the saturation a little bit. Once again, let's see how far we've come. From that to that in just a few minutes. Once you're ready to save your image, you can click File, Export, and then you can save the image in your chosen format. Have fun editing the skies in your landscape images, and I'll see you next time.